as our students go back to campus to invite the rest of the church to really take seriously the work that happens in the souls of people who are in college. It's not Sunday school anymore. It's not a time for us to check out or for us to say, oh, it's fine, they're really focusing on school and they'll come back when they're done. This is the time. This is the time that they're going to ask the questions that are going to help them make sense of the rest of their lives. And we as a church have got to show up for them whenever they start asking those questions. I'm Christina Andreessen and I'm the Director of Ministries for Orthodox Christian Fellowship. I really got involved in the church community in high school. I didn't really know a lot about what going off to college for being Orthodox was going to be like. And the summer between my senior year of high school and my first year of college, um, I met a camp counselor who was an ocf -er, and he introduced me to Orthodox Christian Fellowship. He told me I definitely need to be part of it. I was the chapter president for the Texas A&M OCF for all four years. For my junior and senior year, I served on the national student board. I went to college conference. I went on real break. Really made some really important relationships, not only in my campus community, but through the national programs, through my leadership experience. The culmination of all those experiences was really discerning the call to go to seminary, to Holy Cross Greek Orthodox School of Theology to get my Master's of Divinity. I was pretty convinced that I was Orthodox before I went to college, that that was the right way, but I knew so little about what that meant or how to live that life in a meaningful way that I'm just not really sure. I, I feel like it's hard to even know, would I be grounded? Would I have understood how to get up every morning and pray, why it matters to be in the liturgy, what the value of confession is. Really having a spiritual father and confessing regularly was something that I learned in the context of being an OCF. We had one member of our community who was really getting deeper into her faith and she wanted to start fasting. So we started doing Friday night dinners where we were helping this person get acclimated to fasting. She was just like, I don't know what to eat, I don't know what to cook, I don't know what to buy at the store. So we were doing it all together as a community. One day we were actually having our Friday night dinner in my dorm common room and another person who lived in the dorm with me showed up and said, what are you doing? That was the beginning of his process of becoming Orthodox and eventually bringing two other people who lived in the same dorm as me into the church. That really stands out to me as a really important way that God was working in our community when we didn't even know it. We thought we were helping one person learn how to fast and we actually ended up helping three people become members of the church. I am coming up on 10 years with OCF that I've been with part of the organization. I was halfway through my seminary degree. I had just had my first kid and made the crazy choice to start <laughs> working in ministry right away. I knew I just couldn't say no to the opportunity to serve college students and to give other people the experiences and the opportunities that I had had. Now I have three kids, oldest one just turned 10, like my tenure with OCF. It's amazing to see even how they're being impacted by OCF already. And one of my favorite side effects of working in campus ministry is that there is always um, a college student around to be a positive example for my kids. And they already look forward to the day when they're gonna be part of OCF because they've seen the incredible friendships and experiences that the students I'm around are gonna have. OCF is a ministry worth supporting because I don't think there's any place where you can have a bigger impact on as many things at once. Not only are you significantly impacting the lives of current Orthodox college students, you are impacting the lives potentially of other young people who are asking the same questions that our young people are, and we know they can find the answers in Christ and His Church. You can have a huge impact on the future unity of the Orthodox Church in the United States and the future growth of the Orthodox Church in the United States by supporting the ministry where unity and evangelism and growth are really part of what we do every day. One really lovely thing that I've gotten to witness time and again in my last 10 years of being with OCF is seeing a young person go from feeling like their life is a bunch of different compartments 
and then feeling like if they want to be really orthodox, they have to go be in the ministry bucket. They have to go into the orthodox bucket. And going from that sort of, I'm not really sure how these parts are all connected, and if I want to really be orthodox, I have to do this one thing, to seeing how they can be orthodox wherever they go and in whatever role they take on in life. I love now being able to say, oh yeah, that's a former OCFer, but I'm talking about a doctor or a lawyer or a mother or a father. I love having been part of that integration of their orthodox faith and their trust in Christ being what guides and leads them wherever they go after college. For the church at large, if we're doing campus ministry right, if we're really walking with students in this extremely formative time of their lives, and we're making space for them to ask the big questions they need to ask about who they are and what's important in their lives. We're gonna see generation after generation coming into parish life, not just excited about you know a program that we put on for them in college, but really in love with the Lord, really excited to serve His church, really clear about what that looks like and what that could mean for them, and ready to pass that on to the next generation after them.